into play. What happens next? We are going to take on some sticky situations. Each oh, of yeah. you will choose a door and a question will pop up. The categories are sex, relationships, work, and friendship. Oh. You have to tell us all what you would do next and you have to tell me all what you would do next. So, Sherrod, what door do you choose? I picked door two. Okay. Sex. Sex. <laughs> This is gonna be good. <laughs> okay, name of the game is what would you do next? What do you okay, do? so you get called the wrong name in bed. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, so is it like a grandmother's name or? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's your excuse. If but I get called the name you don't know. Just some guy's name that you don't know. I got a problem with that. <laughs> I would imagine. I mean, I would continue having sex and then talk about it after. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> you wouldn't stop it. Like you table it, you table it. Table it. I would be on an episode of Snapped because I would yeah. snap and have to go crazy if you call me the wrong name. But you know, Alicia, you, you don't want to jump to conclusions. He could be calling you your alter ego. Like Beyonce's got three or four names, right? No. I better know my no. alter ego and know who it is. Don't just call me out Kelly when my name's Alicia. Not happening. Okay. It depends on who the person is, though. Like if I get called another guy, if it's like, oh. Ryan, Ryan Gosling. God, right, yes. exactly. I, that's what she's talking about. Or if it's like Brad Pitt, I'm like, I, no one I, I take that as like a good sign. Like, no one right. says last names in bed. What? No one says last names in bed. Uh, well, you, so, you know what, what you Bethany? Sleeping with? You and your details. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, who says like you're uh, like, right. 